what is going on my everythings it is your girl janiqua and i am back with another read for you guys if no one told you guys today i love you and i know all your dreams is, um, and aspirations matter because they do i am so excited to be bringing you this reading because we about to see what you have been working towards what it's about to unfold and what's to come for this new moon energy all right because we are having a new moon solar eclipse on april 8th and it's an aries the aries is, is thyself is stepping in to who you are to become your higher self welcoming in a lot of change and with this eclipse this is uncontrollable change so anything that was able to physically affect the direction of the, these blessings can no longer affect it no more. All right. You're too aware. You have mastered the art of discernment. Um, and there's a lot of things that you worked on in your life where it is not easy to, ex to, uh, to be next to you or to even be involved with the things that you've been accomplishment. I mean, accomplishing, excuse me. So, damn, let's tap in because I feel like this is going to be... Uh, a breath of fresh air to know that y'all going in the right direction. All right, so spirit, what we got for the okay? Let's see. All right, ten of pentacles, baby. The ten of pentacles, family set for life. All right, have mastered what it really takes to be a billionaire, or will it? What it really takes to be wealthy, right? What it really takes to be wealthy. All right. You have made it to a level where your family and the family that you have around you has morals, standards, all right? This is a household name that you created for yourself, all right? Whoever that is um, attached to you in any type of way, all right, is a household name, all right? It's like your family name ring bells, and I say that humbly. Okay, the Ten of Pentacles is set for life. It's like you, all your hard work paying off when it came to sacrifice, when it came to uh, having integrity in whatever business. You know what I'm saying? Leading other people and having people want to work for you because of the integrity and because of how you lead, all right? And how you make very, very wise decisions based off of others instead of just yourself it's the inclusion all right you you are a way maker you being you put yourself in a position so that way you could be in charge of jobs and positions that's needed by our people or the people that you are governing over all right you you know you are the one that gave opportunities that is loyal that people can really count on when it comes to issues involving family food foundation security all right, that takes a lot of work within yourself, having people to even trust you in that kind of way, for you to even trust yourself to be head of household is what I'm getting, Ten of Pentacles, making sure that everybody eat and not just you, all right, but understanding and using enough discernment to know that everybody not supposed to be eating at your table to begin with, having, having the balance to be able to tap into that logical mind and masculine energy and make right decisions based off of emotions. And also learning how to tap back into that emotional intuitive side and learning how to follow your intuition. It is a balance between masculine and feminine energy when it comes to building a legacy and a household name where whatever you did has set you up in a material world for you guys and whoever that comes after you in your bloodline will never have to struggle we'll never have to know what it feels like to go hungry we'll never have to be led by a false narrative okay and that is growth so ten of pentacles straight out the gate this is what you should be expecting all right Whenever you watch this, I'm hearing three days before or three days after, there's going to be a big, big win. All right. A lot of the things that you used to hold dear to your heart that took a lot of money and, and assets and became a lot of liability, you don't even 
want to do those things no more. All right. You found other talents and other things to invest your time into. All right. So now you're, you're, you're cultivating. This was also about learning cultivation and not spending so much right when you get it. Learning how to, how to um, invest in the right things for you to grow more. Ten of Pentacles, baby. That's all that hard work paying off. Y'all living a good life, very privileged, and you just didn't do it for yourself. You made it to where anybody after you or anybody under your family bracket, anybody that you consider family, even friends, is going to always be good because you're leading by example. All right? So, yeah. Facts. Spirit, give me more on this energy. This is new moon energy and what y'all should be expecting because this is, uh, nobody can mess with this. This is what's being given back to you. All right. The wheel of fortune. Somebody can re enter. All right. So for some of you guys, all right, you was a security blanket, queen of pentacles for a lot of people in your life. I'm hearing friends, families, even lovers, their friends, their families, anybody that came into your life because you was of some sort of wealth, all right, and your integrity went beyond any type of price tag, all right, you were a security blanket to a lot of people. And the fact that you've learned the lesson and knowing that sometimes you got to cut people off because everybody is not supposed to meet, um, be eating with you, all right? A lot of people are feeling, feeling like they can't never re into your life, all right? You're no longer a security blanket, whether you're a masculine or feminine, all right? You were a lot of security, like, the, this is feminine energy, all right? Pentacles and, and, and the cups, that's feminine energy. So that's coming from you leading from an open heart chakra with your mm. physical resources, your material resources, you know? And a lot of people take advantage of that. You know, a lot of people never had somebody so open that got it. So, you know, you can't judge them. And that's why you got to let people go and let God deal with them. But that can't affect your judgment on everybody else. And that's what you have proven in the Ten of Pentacles. Not allowing materialistic gains or a price tag to surpass people's judgment and feelings and judging character well. All right. I'm getting like the same is to run an empire. All right. It's to be a janitor. Okay, where's your commitment? You know what I'm saying? So there's a lot of people that cannot, they're literally blocked. Even if you even try to allow, like a lot of you guys forgave a lot of people, but you simply are strong enough to say, I forgave you, but I don't want no parts. And that is strong. And by you standing up for yourself and being forgiven, but also not being silly, okay, as allowing no entry point and ever all right, dealing with any type of stupidity again because you just simply not allowing it. You're, you're not allowing any type of another chances when you gave enough as a security blanket, literally being there for everybody. So, child, a lot of people cannot. I'm seeing a lot of people, even family, the Ten of Pentacles are being eclipsed. And I'm strongly getting people you consider family. Like, I'm getting, like, you didn't have to be blood for you to consider somebody family. And that's why these people got to backtrack. And that's why these people, you know, got to go do a, do a do-over. All right? Because they, they ignored all of the signs and synchronicities when it came to moving out of love with you, you know, and respecting you for how much of an asset that you was holding people, then you know, down and together. So yeah, look, trash. And for a lot of you guys, you real, you realize these people are trash. All right, these people have only drained you of your emotional energy, where you gave so much and then you feel empty. All right, you throwing, you rather to throw all of that bullshit away and and choose yourself. Okay, literally trusting and being guided. By your intuition. Remember, I said you got to learn how to make a choice, right? The choice being made, that action and standing on that choice and making a commitment that you're going to do this, all right, was that masculine energy. But now, that feeling to come involved where you feel like you made the wrong choice. And that's where you got to tap out of that masculine energy and get out of your mind because you already made the choice and tap in your feminine energy 
and trust your intuition that whatever that you threw away emotionally and emotionally checked out was for your greater good because it was actually intoxicating you your vision your spirituality it was interfering with those things the liquid right okay a lot of you guys you saw yourself even drinking more or partying more than what you normally do all right that's how the enemy gets you with temptation all right trying to make you feel like every emergency is your emergency and it's not everybody you consider family is not your family all right and until you trust yourself until you trust your intuitions and knowing that your body will tell you when it's right your body is going to tell you when these people are for you all right when you master that and then tap into your masculine energy and make that choice all right you good because nobody can get over you and you're not allowing anybody this time around see before a lot of people was able i guess to re-enter your life with this will of fortune you allowed it somehow feeling responsible because you had it queen of pentacles the ten of pentacles to the queen of pentacles is literally you got it to get it so in this energy you're not worrying about nobody fucking you over because anything you get probably was like just out of the generosity it's not messing with your income or nothing so you know they're going to they gonna get their own karma if they hang themselves like that. And a lot of people, unfortunately, felt that test of being loyal and tried to hold what you could do for them over what you did do for them and how much respect you should have had on your name. And now that is gone and you threw them in the trash and gave them back to the streets, them and their addictions and their low vibrational mind state and chose yourself intuitively. All right, there's no comebacks. You learned the lesson. I always tell y'all what good is it to keep going through lessons if you're not applying those lessons in real time. This is you learning a lesson and feeling confident still in your queen of pentacles. All right. But just having more to give to the right people. That's able to reciprocate that energy. All right. Especially when it comes to resources. All right. So expect major rewards. All right. And people just not being able to re-enter your life. And no longer have you as a, a financial, emotional, uh, physical security blanket when times got tough. Okay. There's big changes happening in this eclipse where people are being eclipsed out of your life fast and for good. The will of fortune never coming back. You gave them too much signs and synchronicities. All right. You gave them too much control over the will in your life. The direction. No more that. You believed in these people more than they, they believed in themselves for real. Is what I'm seeing y'all. So spirit give me more of this ten of pentacles please. Five of Pentacles. They are coming. All right. Asking you for money for bills. Past due. They, they late on rent. You were the security blanket. All right. And the things that you did do got them out, out of a lot of financial shit. Even if it was you praying on them because a queen of Pentacles is, is a prayer warrior. All right. She know how to get down to her roots and start working with herbs and start using songs and stuff. All right. She understands the spiritual and the, and the material world. It all works together. You got to believe in a higher power when it comes to needing something that's being produced back out of nothing. Five of Pentacles. A lot of people is, is no, you know, and you know what it is? A lot of people feel your energy so strong and it's Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles energy where they don't even feel confident in coming to you. A lot of people are really really effed up right now and not saying a word because they don't even feel comfortable with asking you for help because they already know you're not standing on that and you should be proud of yourself for that that is the energy that you just are not allowing because of the self-respect and the dignity and the morals all right and integrity that you have for yourself and your family when it comes to the resources that you provide to a lot of people, even if it's prayer, even if it's love, it's bringing things from the unseen to the scene that's actually making shit happen. The Queen of Pentacles makes shit happen. 
all right and she's the mender she mend things together like she's the she's the connection everybody want to go to the queen of pentacles all right she chill she generous she's humble but she got it she's able to come up with an idea she's able to feed your idea she's able to um pull into your idea financially because she believes in you so I don't know what happened, but whatever happened was supposed to happen because now people are really, really not even comfortable with asking you for help. You hear me? And they need it. They know that the, that access has been denied. Spirit, give me more on this Wheel of Fortune, please. They can't. This time around, you're not going to be boo-boo boo the fool and you're not going to feel bad for saying no. All right, look. You learned that lesson, Herophon. All right, you learned that lesson. You started to tap into something spiritual. All right, this is a commitment you kept. And I know that commitment had to be challenging for you to keep saying no. That's what people don't even realize. They don't even think about the hurt that we feel when a giver has to say no and stand on that. But that's the process. That's the commitment. Of knowing that there's energy vampires. There's something beyond this physical plane that is happening. That you got to connect with in order to be in a state of abundance. And be used as the queen of pentacles. A doer. A magician. Alright, so you kept a commitment. You started to learn. All right. You started to learn. You started to tap into something spiritual. You see how these people kept ignoring their path. And their warning signs. And their synchronicities. Okay, they started to play with these angel numbers. Okay, not you. You started to take into account. You started to research. You started to gain wisdom. Oh, what that mean? What's that trying to tell me? And just that commitment, just based off of that intention to want to know what's going on and how to get back on your path, that's all God needed to get you up out of the situation and make you the head of household and make you a household name because now you are trusted with money. You know, it's not money. We just need money here in this material world and this physical plane, okay, to live a life of convenience, you know, being able to be put in positions of authority so that way you could even give opportunities out to people that really need them. But that requires work. That requires commitment and sacrifice, all right, and gaining knowledge and wisdom, okay, literally being called crazy, okay, so yeah. These people ignored the signs and you tapped in more. All right, you awaken. You are part of the shift. Spirit, give me more of this Queen of Pentacles, please. Exactly. Now, whatever you was talking about, whatever you was creating, a lot of people didn't see the vision. All right? A lot of people didn't see the vision. And now it's looking like you might be an authority figure in spiritual matters where, you know, herbal or shit like that where you're able to utilize the natural resources from earth to make things happen manifest so there's something that you've been manifesting and it's 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 about to be done all right these are announcements these are positive recognition this is learning how to manifest this is learning how to attend to the details yourself yourself the queen of pentacles it's very abundant, but you're not going to have too much. You're not going to see the Queen of Pentacles giving too much responsibility to other people when it comes to her shit. So you've learned to take it up into your own hands when it comes to making things happen and happen the right way. You want it. And that was successful. All right. Yeah, look, the three of fucking Pentacles back on track with your soul and your destiny's assignment. Back on track with the people. Energetically aligned. In control over the process. In the right direction. Moving towards your north node. Your destiny. Okay? Literally. So I think this is just telling y'all. That there are a lot of people. That don't even have the confidence. To come back and ask you for a dom. Because of the violation that whatever y'all went through. And it's going to be different for everybody. Alright. But you have gained so much self-respect and integrity. Not only you. But you have created this household family name. That everybody that you even call family is valued. Okay. And is good. Okay. You have proven yourself. 
to be capable with money and with resources, all right? Because you're not greedy. You're not doing anything to tempt you, your temptations, your self-discipline in being tempted and doing the right things. You have mastered that art of not being tempted, okay? And that's what gets you to the Ten of Pentacles, all right? Being loyal, being committed, and showing up just as you want anybody else to show up to you as, regardless of any type of materials that you have. You never put a price tag over love, support, and generosity, but you also understand that you are too different to allow anybody to just be sitting and eating at your table. And that's what people are realizing, that part. Because you're now confident and standing on no. You're now confident in saying you reap what you sow. You're now confident in not allowing anybody to take from you because when they take from you, they take it from whatever legacy you are focused on right now all right and this is really really causing a lot of people to to be unstable because you are a lifeline spiritually emotionally physically even support wise you know it just takes somebody pouring into you and feeding your idea and making you feel capable you know to enhance you know your ability to put action so all of that works with the Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. That's what you installing into your legacy. It takes more than just fucking money. Because you could be a cornball with money. You could be a stingy person with money. If if money was, was everything, why you think people be unaliving themselves, being billionaires? It's not about that. It's about enjoying it, having a different relationship with money, believing in that it be the people and what they're willing to do for money. That cause a different type of relationship that you that people would grow with money. But money, if you have the right relationship and you producing that to Mother Earth with the blessings that she's giving you, all right, money gonna keep coming in. And anybody that do you wrong just gets recycled back to Mother Earth. All right, and then karma. And then you keep growing. You become a master at creating, and then you're free. All right, and now. Every time it happens and you go through a rebirth, all right, and you stay committed, it get more harder for these blood-sucking, thirsty people that all they think about is money to get next to you. It becomes harder and harder, okay? So I love you guys, and I hope that helps.